The Big Mac Index is an absurdly imperfect attempt to measure purchasing power parity, but then no other yardstick is very precise as an indicator of whether a currency is relatively cheap or dear. In their latest binge, the writers from The Economist bravely ate their way through burgers in 55 countries and concluded that sterling, the great British pound, is 27% undervalued against the US dollar. Leading British equities, meanwhile, are among the lowest rated in the Western world. Measured against their biggest US companies, they're almost absurdly cheap. As the international investors who call the shots these days have taken one look at our parliamentary pantomime and fled to less exciting destinations. As a result, the historic yield on the FTSE 100 is a stunning 4.7%, a level that is signalling widespread corporate misery. There are some big companies that are clearly over-distributing in terms of dividends. Think Vodafone, Centrica, GlaxoSmithKline, Standard Life Aberdeen, BT, and for those management who eventually will work out these dividends have to be earned to be um, su sustainable. There will be pain, I'm sure, and painful cuts forthcoming. Let's talk about March 29th. Karma Mines will be looking beyond March 29th and seeing bargains in the British businesses, while companies that have put off investment decisions will take the plunge. In a few months' time, we may look back at today's combination of low sterling, cheap corporate valuations and little inflation as an extraordinary opportunity had it not been drowned out by the noise of those who could only see the apocalypse now. Turning our eyes to the charts, we have two longer term moving averages on the slide. We're trading well above one of them. We've basically got one just below the 7,400 area, 7,307, the 200 day moving average. Simple um, technical systems will kick in on a two day close, one to 3% above that. Momentum wise, we're up in the 60s, a reading of 63, so not really overbought. So I think there's plenty of opportunity here, um, basically for this market to go higher. For choice, I think people will look at those February lows and subject to the basic market not closing below those February lows, I think people will be buyers for choice. So, in conclusion, is this an opportunity of a lifetime? Just may be. Let's see if we can break that 200-day moving average.